Good morning, movers, and welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. All right, I've got an arm workout for you today. We're gonna do biceps, triceps, and shoulders. The format will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between, and this is basically what I'm gonna do. A bicep, a tricep, a shoulder, and then a burnout. The burnout's going to be a compound exercise. We're gonna lift a little bit lighter there and try to keep the volume a little bit higher. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, so grab those, and I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. If you're looking for a lower body workout for tomorrow, that's what I would recommend. Click or tap the card at the top of the screen or check in the description below and try that one. Okay, but for today, let's do this and move daily. All right, strength training on the watch here today. Let's warm things up. Uh, hinge at the waist, a nice little arm circle here. Switch directions. And switch your side. Switch directions. into some front and back bends here. Warm up that lower back a bit. One more here. Good. Let's squat and reach. Wide and open in the chest. Last one here. Let's do a little heel day front push. Overhead press, high knee. Back to your heel dig and push to the side. Nice, arms out to the side. One behind the head, one behind the back. And switch, switch again. Stretch there. Two more here. Reach across and tap. Stretch those lats. Up and over. Okay, finishing here. Very nice. Okay, we'll actually start with that burnout. All right, light weights, high volume, then we'll move into biceps, triceps, and shoulders. Very nice. Start with two, three, or five pound dumbbells. I'll grab my fives here. So biceps serve out to the front, and then up into that Y position or W position there. These are soft, and we serve and serve. Good. It's a good warm up for biceps and shoulders.
Ooh, that warmed things up. We're going into your spider curl. Let's start with the 12 just to warm things up still. Hinge forward somewhere. We're gonna curl here, palm faces the ceiling. Prop yourself up on your leg if you don't have something to hold on to. I'll call half. All right, so I don't want any swinging of that elbow or the shoulder or the arm at all. It's super stationary. The only joint that is moving in this spider curl is the elbow joint. I will call half and we'll switch. Last one here. And switch your side. Flat back and curl. Very nice. Going to a tricep kickback. Uh, same idea. You're just going to hinge forward again. Here is fine as well. I'll hand on a chair. I'll call half and we'll switch. I've got a 10. And we kick and pause. Elbow stays up. A little bit of rear delts here as well gets activated, but put your mind in your tricep. One here, switch sides. into a leaning lateral raise where I'm leaning against uh, on holding on to something. If you don't have anything, feel free just to do a lateral raise like that. I'll call half if you're doing it this way. Here we go. So you pop it up. Now the name of the game here is not to swing at the bottom. You want to come to a dead stop, right? And start right away with tension on that medial deltoid or your side shoulder. I will call half and we'll switch. Last one here and switch your side. Lean and pop. Good. Very nice. Back to the top then. We'll go back to our bicep serve. I'm gonna stick with fives, that was plenty. This one's challenging in the front realm with the high reps. These are soft and we press and press. Don't throw it out, okay? You just wanna place it out. So press and up. Nice control here. Super fatiguing. Feeling it. Into your spider curl again. I'll go with a 15 pound this round. All right. Again, palm faces the ceiling. All right, back is flat and we curl. So you're here. You'll want to swing at the bottom, but don't. Come from that dead stop. Focus on the bicep. Last one on this side. And switch.
Good, that was a better weight for me. I'm gonna grab my uh, 10 again for the tricep kickback. I'll call half. Again, use your leg if you wish, elbow up. And we kick right here, slight pause. Last one here, and switch. Into your leaning lateral. I'll stick with that 10 here. Try to lean if you can. You can hold on to a post. Not everyone has something to lean on in their homes, but here we go. If you do, give this a go. If not, you're just doing a straight lateral raise and that's fine. Last one here. Switching sides. <laughs> round three, last round here with these exercises, then we'll switch it up. Palms up, and we serve and serve. your spider curl. I'm sticking with 15s. All right, flat back, shoulder back, and curl right here. No swinging. Switching sides. Good, I like that one. Very isolated to the bicep, that's great. Hot kick back, I'll stick with the 10. Super flat back, elbow up, and kick right here. Last one here. Switch your side. Ooh, nice. 
All right, uh, lateral. I will stick with that 10 again. Pull the shoulder back. No swinging. And again, both at the same time if you don't have a leaning device. Pop. Let's go. You're starting from wherever the dumbbell lands at the bottom if you're doing the leaning. You're not bringing it in and swinging. Way harder like this. Switching sides. Very nice, boom. Okay, a quick water sip. Uh, there's the next circuit. Take a look at what's coming up. We're starting with that burnout, that high volume. So grab some light weights. Here we go. Back to your light weights for the curl and kick. All right, so you're gonna curl and kick right there. Of course, you could uh, grab twos or threes. I'm gonna try it with my fives and see how we do. Here we go, so you curl, kick, in and down. This might be light, we'll see. The curl is easy, it's the kick here, okay? That targets those triceps a bit. So I want you to think flex, bring it in, that's it. There's the volume starting to build for my tries. Okay, very good. Let's go into your hammer curl with a turn. I'll hold 15s, you're gonna do a slight turn at the top and really think about flexing those biceps. So knees are soft, shoulders back, and palms stay close. So you're up and turn, flex at the top. No swinging at the bottom. Moving into a skull crusher. You could do this seated or standing. I think I'll hold a 20. Uh, I might break after 12 and then pop back in. Knees are soft, elbows close to the ears. <laughs> that was a lot of volume there for me. All right, moving into your uh, front raises. I think I will hold eights here. Palms face the ground. We're popping up to that 90 degrees. Shoulders back. And you're here and slow. All right, the slower you hit that eccentric phase or the down phase, the harder it is. So if you have lighter weights and you wanna make it more challenging, you're just slow two, three, like that, okay? Mine are pretty heavy, so I'm just gonna give a nice cadence here. Let's take the chest out. Ooh. 
All right, back to the top, going back to the curl and kick, up and out. I'm gonna stick with fives. Again, the curl is easy, but the kick is the challenge. So I'll stick with that and work up, boom, in and down. Going into your hammer curl again. I think I'll drop to 12s. My slight tennis elbow doesn't like these ones as much. Shoulders back. And we curl and flex at the top. Going into skull crushers here. That 20 felt fine, so I will stick with that. Even if I have to drop after 15 reps, we'll see how she rolls. Let's work. Fire in the hole, I tell ya. I got 17 there, that was good. I'm going into my front raises again. Sticking with those eights. You're here. top. Final round here. Back to the curl and kick. Quick sip. All right. Let's work.
Okay, whoo Feeling the pump in my arms for sure. Going back to my hammer curl, turn. Oh, I'll hold 12s again. Let's work, and you're up. Squeeze. your skull crusher. I'll stick with the 20 because I like I'm getting about 17 reps in there and I feel like that's excellent for me. All right, here we go. That failure around that point for sure. raises to finish this circuit. Oh, I think I'll just uh, maybe try 10s. Be harder, but I'll just go slower. Swing those arms out. You've got a 15 second or 30 second water rest. You've got one more circuit. So take a look and join me if you like. We'll start with the pec deck press. Again, I'll hold those fives. You could do the seated with a slight forward lean, which is really challenging on that front press, but I'm gonna do it standing. Here we go. Squeeze, press over the chest. So even here, you could slate forward lean if you wish. Up, lean, up. Just hitting the shoulders on a slightly different angle, maybe a slight bit more rear delt there when you are fighting gravity with the front lean. I'll stay like this today. fire. Going into your pinwheel curl. If you followed on Instagram, I'm adding this last circuit. I didn't have these last three exercises in, but I thought I'd make it a little bit longer today. Shoulders back, palms face the ceiling. We alternate. Up, flex at the top. Good.
taking things down to the ground for my tricep press extension. I'll grab 12s on your back, palms are facing each other. Press to the ceiling and then back at the elbow. Here we go. So we press, take it back, up and down to the ground. Palms stay facing the entire time. I'll use these 12s for my Arnold press. Come to standing, but you could sit if you wish. Oh, Arnold's starting here. Knees are soft. Push, then squeeze right here. Round two, back to the pec deck press. Holy pump, Batman. <laughs> it's happening. Here we go. Squeeze, press. Holy, this is challenging. This one with the fives. Just make sure you keep good form. Rest or lighten if you need. Oh, Nelly, I'm definitely gonna uh, lighten on the last one there. Back to your pinwheels. I'll stick with 15s. Shoulders back, curl across the body. down on the ground again for my tricep press extension. I wish I could do 15s down here, but my one elbow will not have it right now. So I'm sticking with 12s, palms facing, and we press back up and to the ground.
이게 Arnold's. Shake those arms. You're feeling, feeling this. Let's work. Twelve reps, and that was nice. I'm dropping weight for this last round on this pec deck. <laughs> I tell ya, this one is hard for me. All right, work, and we squeeze over the chest. Oh, this is gonna be easy, but I'm just going to keep good form and pick up my pace then. So I still want to have that burnout on the muscles. And that's how we push the system, either with pace, weight, time, duration, intensity, lots of ways. Mm. And right there, I've done it already. <laughs> Feeling it, Nelly. Mm. brutal back to your pinwheels oh are your arms like on fire and floaty me too love me a pinwheel curl Similar to the spider curl at the beginning, but we focused it more on the sh small head of the bicep with the spider. This is a little bit more, um, well, you definitely hit a little bit of that brachialis on the outside of the bicep, but also the peak as well here. Okay, down to the ground. Last exercise here, folks. Last Arnold press. I'll stick with 12s. <sighs> Arms are feeling shot. Let's work hard. Stay in the pocket now, okay? It'd be easy just to let the arms drop. I want you to fight it. Push, push with good form though. Let's go. Mm. Last 10 seconds. Anyone can do anything for 10. Stay with me. In four, three, two, how? One and done. 
You can move daily in your biceps, triceps, shoulder workout. Holy floaty, floaty arm syndrome. Very good. Okay, grab some water and join me for a standing stretch if you can. Arm against the wall. Let's just open up into the chest here a bit. If you want to put your thumb down, you'll target a little bit of bicep at the same time. Ha! Ah, what a pump. That's great. That little uh, switch, the little burnout there was <laughs> fire. I didn't think. I filmed it for Instagram, but I hadn't tried it yet. I'll do that sometimes. <laughs> Like when I was a trainer in people's homes, uh, I would do that lots. I would create a workout, then I'd be like, okay, do this workout. And then I'd give it to them and they'd be like, I'm dying, this is so hard. I'm like, really? And then I would try it after <laughs> and then realize that was cruel of me. Uh, but anyway, I just, I thought when everyone, I asked on Instagram if you wanted to see this and so many people said, yes, film it. We need another arm day. Well, this was a good one. I liked it too. Oh, I'm fried. Let's go up into a tricep stretch here. Just gently pull. You can increase the stretch of this by going against a wall. Okay, lengthening. Just stick your hip out. That's good. Targets a bit of lats as well. Switch side. Oh, my arms are hot. <laughs> Feeling the pump. Very nice. This is going to be a short stretch. My battery was flashing because it didn't start with a full one. Sorry, my apologies. But um, you keep stretching if you need it. And other than that, <laughs> we'll see you in the next workout.